Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the details and animations for the upcoming STRLR Z Fighters, or technically it's just called a Super Saiyan Goku, but as you can see, in the card we have Goku, Trunks, Vegeta, Piccolo, as well as Gohan. So this is going to be the next Carnival LR on JP. I know some people were expecting or hoping for Beast Gohan around this time, which is unfortunately not going to be happening, but this is still a very cool alternative. It's uh, definitely intriguing. So with that said, let's uh, jump right into it. And before we get into the details translated by Goresh, let's uh, pop over to the official JP Dokkan Twitter page and watch the animations. So let me just pause the music here. And enjoy, guys. Okay, so those are the animations for the upcoming LRZ fighters. Um, honestly, at first I was like, they're okay. Like, they look fine. Obviously, they look good, but, um, you know, nothing too unique, right? And it's always the case when it comes to units with, like, many characters like this. There's only so much you can do with each character since you can't spend too much time on... Uh, any in individual one right you have to like give each of them a part in the animation but you can't have like an extended attack for each guy because that would just be too long so the 12 and 18 key are fine they look good but nothing crazy but the active skill is freaking dope i love the active skill um obviously the music helps the the voice lines help so um i mean it's not really like a voice line it's just screaming but it, it's 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 dope it's dope so overall solid animations solid solid animations so now let's check out the uh, details for these guys and uh, i will say i went through them before i started recording and these guys look quite insane to me they look quite quite busted to me um you guys can be the judge obviously but Let's start with the leader skill at the top here, which is uh, Battle of Wits, category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 200%, and as you can see, the name is just Super Saiyan Goku, which means that you can't really, I mean, technically you can run them on the same team as other Super Saiyan Gokus, but uh, they can't link, right? Like the AGL one or the Tech one, uh, they're all going to be called Super Saiyan Gokus, so no links between those units, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, leader skill, battle of wits, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 200%, super attack, 12 key, 5 warrior assault, raises attack and defense for 1 turn, causes uh, colossal damage, not immense, colossal damage, and greatly lowers defense, and then 18 key, raises attack and defense for 1 turn and causes mega colossal damage, and raises super class allies attack by 50% for 1 turn. That is a huge boost, especially because this is a unit they can technically, uh, you know, get away with the running in the first slot, right? There's a lot of units out there where they're raising, you know, allies attack or raising allies defense on the super, but you almost never want to run them in slot one because they're just not tanky enough, right, to be used in slot one, to take an attack in slot one. So uh, in this case, they're definitely able to tank in slot one and... Providing 50% attack boost on the 18 key super is just 
ridiculous. That That is an amazing, amazing support on the super attack. Passive, key plus five. Oh, by the way, it's called fist, fist, wait, what? Fist, fist, body, explosion, light. Okay, interesting. Key plus five, and attack and defense plus 150% at the start of the turn. Not bad. Super class allies, key plus two, and defense plus 50% and then reduces damage received by 30%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 15%, per attack received up to a maximum of 75%, gains an additional key plus 2 for the rest of the battle during the turn, starting during the turn in which this character has received 5 attacks in battle, reveals the location of enemy super attacks during this character's attacking turn, starting the following turn after this character has received 10 attacks in battle, gains an additional attack plus 50% and performs an additional super attack when the key is 24 or within the same turn that the uh, active skill is activated. So, um, like I said, man, these guys look pretty crazy. They're getting a ton of attack and defense. They're getting a lot of support for super class allies. Uh, they're getting 30% damage reduction. They get a, a more key after taking five attacks. They get the ability to reveal enemy supers or see enemy supers after taking 10 attacks and then they also get additional 50% attack and uh, 20 or sorry additional super a guaranteed additional super attack when key is 24 or more sorry I guess 24 is the max so 24 right full key additional super additional 50% attack and uh, they do have an active skill as well which is full power simultaneous attack a condition is able to be used after five turns have elapsed and 10 or more attacks have been received once only and uh, it massively raises attack temporarily causes ultimate damage performs critical hits during the turn of activation and all allies key plus five for one turn and I know that 10 attacks like taking 10 attacks seems like a lot but I think they're taking into account the fact that you know, these days, events are getting harder and harder, right? And uh, in these harder events, enemies are attacking you more and more. So if you're taking on a harder event like Red Zone, for example, um, even some of the more recent, like, Extreme Super Bad Road stages, uh, obviously, like, future uh, Legendary Goku-style events or Legendary Vegeta-style events, um, the enemies are going to be attacking you a lot more than we're used to, so... I think 10 attacks is not too bad. Obviously, it's still quite a bit, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And, um, yeah, I love the fact that this guy or this unit can see enemy super attacks. That, I think, is literally probably the most useful ability in the entire game, especially when an enemy super can basically one-shot you these days. Being able to know, like, where they're coming from to prepare for them to put your best tank in front of those, those supers is super super clutch and uh they're gonna be hitting really hard you know they're gonna be doing a lot of damage because they get a lot of attack they get the um guaranteed additional super at 24 key they're getting a lot of key on their passive so they're gonna get that 18 key super that 24 key super pretty often uh they're amazing on support for super class allies um yeah just a really really strong unit <laughs> what else is there to say a really really strong unit um, definitely a top unit in the game. I'm not gonna say they're the best unit because I just don't know right now. I gotta see them perform, but definitely like a top five unit already, um, just based on the on paper details, right? Possibly even higher than that. And uh, lastly, we got the Lynx, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Kamehameha Hot, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Battle of Wits, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Connected Hope, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship. Accelerated Battle, Bond of Parent and Child, Warrior Raised on Earth, and Kamehameha. I'm blocking it, so let me just disappear for a second. There you go. Those are the categories. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all there really is to say for now. That is the LRZ Fighters slash LR Super Saiyan Goku. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about him, uh, about them or about him. Um, I think it's a... Uh, it's, it's a pretty crazy unit. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy looking unit. I'm sure the performance will be um, at least top five, at least top five, but possibly once again, even higher. Could be, this could be the best unit in the game right now. This really could be. I just feel like it's too early to say that. I don't want to 
set expectations too high, right? But this definitely has the potential to be, you know, up there with the best units in the game. So, um, that's it, guys. That's going to be the video. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, let me know your opinions about the Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, how do you feel about the fact that it's called Super Saiyan Goku, by the way? I would have preferred if they went with a different naming convention just so you can link him with other Super Saiyan Gokus, but... Uh, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, thank you guys for watching once again. As always, if you liked today's video, let me just go back to the animations before we sign off here. Uh, yeah, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.